What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be taking a look at some awesome new arrivals and restocks at E-Knives. It's actually been a whole month since we've done E-Knives, which is crazy. I feel like I just did this, but I've noticed, been getting a lot of notifications in my email as I'm sure many of you have as well. There's some new stuff here, so I have held off from looking at it, most of it. Uh, and I wanted to put it all in one video. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you'd like to check out these pages for yourself without hearing my commentary, I will link them right down below, both the new arrivals page and the restocks. But if you'd like to hear my thoughts and sort of shop with me, which is kind of, it's kind of, a, this is kind of a shop along, <laughs> um, then stick around because that's, uh, what I'm going to do. Let's take a look at the new arrivals page first. I think that's probably what I want to do. Um, you can expect to see lots of new heretics and lots of new microtechs. God dang, I got to be honest with you guys. If I had $5,000 to drop on a fixed blade right now, which I don't, but if I did, I, I would buy this, right? I think the common response is that couldn't possibly be worth. It's not even, I mean, here's the thing. With something like this, if you've ever wondered, like, how can this stuff cost so much money? These are custom, which means um, many of the parts are machined, um, but a lot of this stuff is hand finished or actually hand ground. And when you're working with these types of materials and you're putting that much work into it, the cost absolutely goes up. Whether or not you value stuff like that or elements like that, the cost absolutely goes up. Add on top of that, that it's being done in the United States. And if you're familiar with labor costs here, oof, that definitely goes up. Then you're going to add the Marfion Custom thing to it. I mean, there's no there's no secret there. If it's a Marfion Custom, you're definitely going to pay for that. But on top of that, anybody who owns this type of stuff knows that it retains value. Uh, it just does. There's a market for this. There's a secondary market for it. Um, this type of, of thing. I mean, it takes a specific buyer, right? Just like anything. Any enthusiast, any collector market. Uh, it's the same type of stuff, right? So... It might not be worth it to you, but it's definitely going to be worth it to somebody. These things always sell. I almost never see interceptors just hanging around. But man, what an epic looking fix. God, that is one of the most insanely cool blades. Look at that. That is freaking gorgeous. So the whole thing is hand rubbed satin handle, which I'm sure is hollowed out. I'm, yeah, you can see the twist off there. And we got the cord wrap. I'm sure this is all titanium. What a what an absolutely gorgeous fixed blade. I mean, can we all agree at least? We can't. I mean, do I do I think it's worth five thousand two hundred fifty dollars? Despite me having just given the pep talk to everybody else, no. But can we all agree that it's it's a pretty good looking fixed blade, right? <laughs> Hey, there's a brachial. Oh, it's serrated. Okay, I was gonna say that's why it's still there. Combat troodon. Hellraiser in two-tone is sitting there. If you've been looking for that, that's been sitting there. We got some custom Chavez Ultramars. These are the shorter guys uh, with uh, custom Anno. There's actually quite a few of them. Some of these are not... Why are these only 375? Are they G10 on the front? Hold on. Blue anodized... No, these are full tie. They're just uh, that's just the price of the smaller one. Okay, all right, all right, cool. If you ever liked that knife, but you thought it's a little bit too big, then the smaller one, which really isn't all that small, that's still a pretty good size. It might be your cup of tea. I don't know what my deal is right now, guys, but every time I come across one of these tomahawk-looking things, a lot of it comes from RMJ Tactical. I'm tempted by it. I have no use for a tactical tomahawk. Absolutely no use whatsoever. But do I want one? Yes. I mean, you know, I would say, I would say 50% of you guys watching right now, you have no use for the things that you buy, whether it, your purchasing decisions are influenced by me or somebody else, or you're not influenced by anybody, influenced by anybody. I would venture to guess you don't need <laughs> a lot of the stuff that you buy, right? But as part of just being a knife person. Micro Praetorian Tees. These are kind of interesting. I wonder what the... What is the blade steel on these? I have no interest in owning a Micro Praetorian T S45VN. But I know some people do, right? 
if you like how the Praetorian looks, but you're like, they're just way too big to carry. I mean, the, the most reasonably sized one is absolutely the micro. It's almost the size of a regular pocket knife. <laughs> Uh, serrated Jedi Knights, always a, a, a massively healthy supply of Microtex here. This, um, is this a, this is two-tone DLC. Is this mirrored DLC? I got to look at this other freaking expensive thing. This is an amphibian. The only other model outside of the, um, the, 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 the stitch and the, uh, the other one. I can't, I, I, for some reason, the name of the other one's escaping me. The Amphibian. I wish that they would do a production. This is a custom. So that means the blade is hand ground. But I wish that they would do a production Amphibian. Um, so that we could get one for, you know, less than $3,000. I honestly can't tell if the, the, the blade looks like it's got that mirror black. Uh, and or Is this sharp on top? Holy crap. It's sharp on top? <laughs> no. Is that the light? Hold on. I want to zoom in. I want to see. Oh, I can't tell. I can't tell. Look at that. How perfect. It looks like they screwed up right here, but they didn't. It's following. That line follows the swedge. I can't tell if this is just a polished swedge or if the light is hitting it just right. It kind of looks like it's sharp, though, um, which is a little bit dangerous. And I mean, if it is, then think about that in the pocket. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I can't tell what I'm looking at here. <laughs> That's wild. That would be cool, though. I hope that we see. I, I, I think it's safe to assume that Microtech plans to uh, adapt the, the RAM lock. I mean, they would be they would be silly not to to adapt the RAM lock to a bunch of different stuff. Right? Can you imagine they do a Ramlock SOCOM? This is me. I don't have any wood to knock on, but Ramlock SOCOM, Ramlock SOCOM Elite, please. That would be uh, super duper cool. I think that people would very much like that. I would like that. Uh, I would like to know if you guys would like that. I have a SOCOM Elite. I have a SOCOM Bravo, and I love them both. They're really cool, but a Ramlock SOCOM? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'll take it. I think so. Um, uh, boy, look at that. I, listen, I think the PT is an interesting size. Oh, this is a full on, this is a PT plus. So the PT plus is an interesting size, but it's still a little bit too small for me. Um, it's, it's a fine, I mean, it's not a micro knife, but I want this in a full, look at that. God, that is beautiful. Herringbone. What an absolutely beautiful. So. This is a this is a stale, stainless steel frame, and there's a reason that they do that with the custom autos instead of titanium. It's like galling uh, of titanium over time with that type of impact from an auto. I think there's an issue with it, um, which is why we don't see that as much, right? Razor wire, titanium Damascus Malibus. Oh boy, I kind of the, the titanium Malibu here with this texture pattern. I've been tempted many times. Oh boy, that's really gorgeous. The machining that they do on that is just really, really cool. Sorry, my uh, computer decided that it wanted to stop charging. <laughs> Let me exit out of that page there. Okay. Um, let's see, have we got anything going on with the backspacer? Not really, but that's cool, right? If, I mean, if you're looking for a custom um, Malibu there. Not really gonna stop and talk about the shootouts. We got more of these attention to detail, uh, mercantile or mercantile, however you like to say that. I say it both ways and then people correct me anyway and then I can at least be 50% right. Uh, Terzola ATCF, I'm still, so I would like to own this knife but I'm waiting for a version of it that I think actually looks good. And there have been versions that are close but not quite. If I'm gonna spend 500 bucks, four or five, 550, whatever those normally run. It's going to have to be something really cool. Good Lord. What is going on with the blade here? Ah, uh, why am I attracted to stuff like this? Why? Why have I gotten to the point where I'm just like, oh man, I really like how that looks. Oh, it's a grand. I can't be doing, oh no, it's, I'm sorry. It's almost two grand. I can't be doing this 
Vegas Forge Blue Damascus. Ah, man, that is really cool looking. How big is this thing? Nine inches. Man, that is a sweet looking knife. Something about blued Damascus is super appealing to me. Um, yeah, I actually kind of like the seam construction, honestly. Titanium. Oh, man, that's cool. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Um, really nice. Sometimes there's busy, done well. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to talk about this. We got a frag one right here that I guess we could talk about. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's great that Microtech is offering these in the frag texture, but why why do we have to pay so much more for it? I mean a base a base Ultratech, seriously, what is special about this? It's just a regular production Ultratech. It's they're not even they're not even trying to slap the signature series things or or are they? I guess it is. It's got the little signature. Okay, so they're calling it a signature series. But seriously, what else is different aside from the frag? Like, come on, just give us the... Like, if you want to charge us a, a little bit more for it, okay. But that's just crazy. Like, I'm not... I would pick one up if they weren't almost 500 bucks. Ugh. Peter Martin QSB XL Fat Carbon. I gotta look at this. I know people are like, well, you always look at the gas station stuff. The gas station. No. You know, you know that this isn't something that you can get at a gas station. That's the knee jerk reaction, right? That's just what, that's what everybody says. They look like, what the heck? <laughs> what? what? Is the Punisher school the part, a part of the pattern? <laughs> no way. Oh man, that's kind of lame and kind of cool at the same time. They all came out a little derpy looking, but if they actually manage to get layers in there to come out like that, it's kind of neat. I mean, it also looks kind of AI generated, but it's kind of neat that they were able to do that. <laughs> oh, man. Absolutely wild. Mixed Strider Custom. Um, I, that won't be there for very long. SMF titanium flame striped handles two tone. What's the steel? I ain't even gonna say. No, I mean it doesn't even matter. Like the people who buy this stuff. I mean it's Strider knives come in a wide variety. Of, like they, they use so many different. It's just like whatever they have, right? You'll see really weird stuff, and then you'll see stuff that everybody's seen before. But they use all sorts of different stuff. I have no idea, but I have a feeling that one won't sit there for very long. There are Shirogorovs on e knives. Sugar off Quantum E Knives Edition. What? Let's look at this bronze boy here. That's uh, Ursus. Has to be. Is this the Ursus model? Chromax. Yeah, it's the Ursus model. I was going to say $775 for a. I mean, still though, one of the better priced Shiro's on the market for sure. Look at that. That's really cool. <laughs> E actually it's kind of neat. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, okay. Well, shoot. I mean, I, I didn't know that they did an E knives exclusive um uh version of this. Huh. Wow, okay. Well, that was a nice little find there. I I mean, I don't know if you guys knew about that, but I didn't know about it. Oh, there's the narrows. Guys, it's coming. I've I've talked with Benchmade. I've got one coming. Everybody's, you know, this is this is the knife that tri that that triggers the Benchmade knives are so overpriced. Yeah, it, listen, it, I agree. Everybody agrees. The like, not not every single Benchmade is is overpriced. They they still have some stuff that's like reasonably priced. The Narrows on paper looks like it's overpriced, but I gotta handle it. I gotta know. I gotta find out. I gotta see what's going on with this, right? Um, so it's like, I get it. I hear it's, it, I, I can literally post about any knife, not even bench made. I mean, I could make a post on my community tab about shoes, right? I can make a, I can make a, a post on a community, uh, community tab about rowboats and somebody would go, the bench made narrows is overpriced. It's just like, 
it's there's nothing to be gained from that. Like it, it, it definitely looks that way. <laughs> For the love of God, find something you enjoy. I cannot imagine the dedication, what the amount of emotional energy it takes to day in and day out fuel your frustration for benchmade pricing. It's okay to let it go, right? I look at stuff like that and I go, boy, that's a high price. But I'll tell you what, I am not going to dedicate much more energy to it, right? I just got to I got to look at stuff that I that I like. But the narrows is coming. I'm going to take a look at it. I promise. Absolutely. A ton of additional microtechs here. You can still get the UTX 85 for 291. There we go. That's the one right there. I'll tell you what, if I was going to buy a sugar off right now uh, and I wanted, you know, to find the best one out there in terms of like sugar offiness for the lowest amount of money, this is probably one of the coolest ones. Some people might not like all the E's all over it, but at least they did it in a hex pattern. I think that's actually kind of neat. Um, yeah, if you've ever been curious and, you know, you wanted something weird and something a little bit special, the E-Knives ex exclusive uh, Quantum Ursus, which I'm sure is the, that has to be the platform because it's in uh, Chromax, which is a great steal. I mean, as far as I know, I've never actually used it, but as far as like what I've read about people using it and, the, you know, the composition itself, yeah, I think you're good to go there. Protect Godson Limited Automatic Knife with a Pearl. Oh, okay, so it's a Pearl. I kind of, the, Tosh, the Tashi Barucha is an interesting design, but I just, I always see, when those drop, I always see them sit there for a bit. It's like people look at them and they're kind of like, eh, and then they're just not totally sure, right? No surprise that the full immunity is just readily available, right? Um, I just didn't see it selling at that. Let's read the review. Let's read the, actually let's, we got reviews on all these, let's read them. Cause here's the, here's the problem with the eKnives website, which I actually love. Unless they changed it, they just let anybody leave a review even if they haven't bought the knife. So let's see what somebody had to say. Benchmade full immunity, axis lock, folding knife, woodland green 2.5. John Jenkins, this is a terrible review. You gave it four stars and then you just said what it is. Listen, I don't know if you know this, John Jenkins, but this information is right here. Wow, they're hitting that M4 really nicely. Nice job, Benchmade, on that heat treat. But this right here, your review, is, is literally directly above that. I mean, you'd have to go out of your way, like I did, to click on your review to find out why did this person give it four stars instead of five? Oh, it's the Benchmade Full Immunity Axis Lock Folding Knife Woodland Green 2.5 inch Warncliffe Black 290BK-2. You just said what it is, that's not a review. This is a terrible review. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's look at <laughs> let's, let's look at another review. We got two here. Um, I'd like to say that I hope that the, these reviews will be better, but I can't imagine that they will be, right? You can't just let whoever. Okay, so we got great size for you to say cool covers. Okay, not, not bad, quick, to the point. Decent EDC, five stars though from Greg Askey. I have bigger hands and even though this is a smaller knife, it's easy to manipulate. The scales have just enough texture to alleviate any slippage. In the end, it's a Benchmade knife, it's a keeper. Okay, that's fair, these are these are fair, right? I mean, people might agree or disagree, that's fine, but that's, that's an example of somebody who clearly purchased it and then left their thoughts, which is the purpose of the review section. And now we have Jason Johnson verified with the same thing. What is this? What is this? Are these bot reviews? Who who bought these? What's going on? <laughs> that doesn't look good. Um, I don't know what the uh, what what the deal is there, but we just have reviews being paid for by who? <laughs> Okay, this is something that's interesting that I want to look at. 
Uh, and actually, I, I talked to the knives about getting one of these to look at because it honestly looks pretty cool. This is a tour frame lock. And they've taken, little boy, I had no idea it was a thick boy. Look at that. Damn, boy. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, it's almost, it's, it's approaching a quarter inch. God, that's actually kind of cool. Um, I like the texturing on it. So do we have, we have texture G10 and titanium. Kind of wish it was full tie. Made in the USA, Chasm XLT. Uh, it's pronounced Chasm. No, it isn't. Shut your mouth. No, it isn't. I'm honestly, at this point, I'm looking for other knives that have reviews listed so that I can read and see how many of these bot reviews we have. Because that's not something that I like to see. I'll read, we got four reviews on the Maverick. I'll read that, but it's because we got another bench made here, I kind of want to read the review. Because this is, this is one that I am was not super impressed with. Like... I mean, I try to point out what I think is good. No, we got a long one here. Nice daily carry. That's a nice weight and feel not too. Okay, so this, we, this is a real person, Dylan Miller. I'm not going to read the rest of that, but I'm going to assume it's, you know, you gave your actual thoughts on it. And then we got, uh, we got this one. Let's read the reviews on the Maverick because I think these are having issues with lockup. I want to see what people say. And I'm honestly looking to see if we've got more. Of those bot reviews we got four of them that are all five stars nothing but positive messages for enabs the enabs retailer is great they ship fast blah 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 so they're re reviewing the retailer there which is also okay blade on this knife slices nice feels great maverick to me as though a benchmade group chilling was bred with a benchmade bailout cross with chris reeve that's uh, actually i kind of agree with that yeah okay all right we got some real reviews there. Okay. Sometimes I sometimes I go through and just read some real stinkers. Like I I read some reviews that are just like, "Why did you bother? Like why did you why did you take your thoughts and put them on the internet for other people to read?" What? Oh, for okay. It's the custom one. I was like, "How is this sitting here?" I think we're actually back into the part of this that I've seen from the last time. Yeah, cuz there's the MSI custom that's still sitting there, right? Um, we are definitely back in the other territory. So there's, uh, there's still Vero Engineering Axe and sitting here. There's still the tie, uh, the tactile uh, rock wall um, with the uh, hex cut pattern, which is an exclusive. Real quick, I would like to go to their restocks page, which is not quite as in depth as you know some other retailers, but I do appreciate that they have it, and I do like to come back and check. There's a ZT0350 sitting here. Now at this point, $210, $218 is too much for that, but I have not seen that knife in a long time. If you're looking for a SOCOM Bravo manual, I think those are actually available at a few different places right now, but they are available right here. There's a ton. The best buy for an American automatic OTF on the market right now is hands down the Recon 35. At $285, look at that one, right? There's a beautiful one right there. They got six pages of restocks. This page has definitely come back up. This is gorgeous. If you're in the market for a USA OTF, this is what I'd buy right here. I mean, it's an OTF, so go with the double-edged, right? I mean, it's the safest double-edged that, as long as it's legal to carry, that's the safest one on the market. I have one. I love carrying it, love using it. Um, but yeah, there's one right there. I'm actually... I, only, I expected to only see one page. Let's go back. Let's go back one more page and just, I just want to see. There's a Stormtrooper Ultratech sitting there for 385. That's a cool one. Definitely. More recons. There's an Ultramar Libertarian. I'm sorry, Libertarian. <laughs> Ultramar Liberation, not the Libertarian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm laughing way too hard at my own mess up there. Um, TR3 for $175, still one of the best priced Pro Techs that you'll find. One of the best priced USA automatic knives that you'll find. Uh, side openers, absolutely. HK Incursion. Ooh, I... I would like to look at this. This is the bigger one. 
I have never, that is a big OTF. 9.625 inches overall in 154 cm. Hmm. Kind of interesting. I uh, I would really like to look at that at some point. They got a black one there too. Direct Delta, half serrated if you've been looking for that. UTX-70, just not really interested in the UTX-70. It's just too tiny. I'm sure some people like it. SOG Pentagon Pass. Pass because of the deployment issues on that one. Crew wear, PM2, still sitting here. I don't know how long that's been there. Chavez Chubb, I know some people are still looking for that. GT, uh, zero tolerance, uh, why did I say GT? 0350 G10, maybe that's why. Tritium insert, maybe that's why they brought those back. Or maybe that's custom, I don't know. These are the little Guardian Tacticals and they're okay. I think there's a little. they're a little bit too small for me though. There's a bunch of stuff. Oath, they, uh, they got an 0393 GLCF. I honestly haven't seen those for a bit. 0562 tie. If you're having trouble getting a hinder knife and you're thinking those are too expensive, the ZT's creeping up, but not a not a bad buy. Definitely still not a bad buy. More Guardian Tactics. Lots of them. There's a green one there. Hmm. This page is much more, there's a lot more on this page since the last time I looked. Just looking to see if we can find any more treasures. Oh boy, that'll be gone. Anybody who's stuck with me this long, there's a good chance this black LUDT is still there. I am certain that as I'm reading this right now, uh, at this point, if you're thinking, I'm, I'm considering that, it's probably gone now by the time that everybody has seen this, right? Even if there's only 200 people still watching this video, I can almost guarantee that that thing is gone. But it's worth checking. Uh, the LUDTs, when they drop, go quickly. I have no idea why they don't make more of these. Uh, 265 is not a bad price at all. USA made. These are usually M390. I think we can probably zoom in on that. Um, what does that say there? It says M390. Yeah. Great cutting geometry. I think we can end on that. Uh, not not usually. I haven't seen a black LUDT in a bit. So, yep. Okay, this has been fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Check out e knives. I'll link these uh, these pages, both the uh, new arrivals page and the restocks page, right down in the description, so you guys can check it all out if you want to. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.